Hello guys, Chronic Cloud here, and welcome to my first ever ship review. I want to apologize ahead of time, as this may seem a little rough around the edges, but we're here. And joining us today is the Tier 7 Russian light cruiser, the Chapayev. This happens to be one of my favorite cruisers at Tier 7, and a ship that helped me figure out how cruiser play really works, so I thought this would be a good first review. To start things off, I'll drop a brief history about the Chapayev. Chapayev class cruisers were a group of cruisers made for the Soviet Navy named Project 68 by the Soviets who had a plan of building 17 cruisers in this class, but only 7 ships had been started before the Germans invaded Russia. Out of those 7 ships, 2 were destroyed by Nazi Germany during its invasion, leaving the 5 remaining intact ships to only be completed after the war was over in the year 1950, leaving an 11 year period from the date she was laid down on October 8, 1939 being launched in April 1941 and completed on the 16th of May 1950. She was later decommissioned in 1976. These Russian cruisers, in my opinion, are good when they are play played at medium range to far range. They are also good at hunting and killing destroyers. They have been refitted with, re with a decent anti-aircraft guns in 1950, but in game you'll notice she has no AA guns. Now let's get on to the ship mods. In mod 1, I use the aiming system mod, as the Chapayev's turrets, uh, they, they turn decently without the main battery mod 2, and having a secondary mod on a cruiser would only hurt you at this point. Um, second, I use steering gears mod 2. Third, I use steering gears mod 3. As it helps you know with the shit with the rudder shift time and it helps you in kiting situations. Um, in the fourth mod, I use the gun fire control system mod two. Like I said earlier, these ships are best at range, especially Chapaya, as she has some of the longest range rapid fire guns in the game. Now let's look at the stats and commander build before we get into the gameplay. All right, now let's take a look at these stats. Her survivability, her hit points are sitting at 37,000 and uh, let's not even talk about the armor as she's a light cruiser um, and we don't have the armor viewer at the moment. Coming down to her 12 152 millimeter guns with the maximum firing range without boosters at 19.3 kilometers with the reload time of 8 seconds on my build. In a turn, uh, 180 turn time of 25 seconds. As you see, the turret traverse speed is pretty nice on the ship. As I have no uh, modifications or anything that are, you know, affecting it. Looking at the HE shells, the maximum HE shell damage is it's pretty decent. It, it'd probably sit towards the middle, or, you know, upper middle of the pack, I would say. And the fire chance at a 15%. That's that's pretty good. As you know, you're putting out a lot of. Uh, AT shells so you're going to be setting a lot of fires um, looking at the, the AP you have a maximum AP shell damage of 3400 and uh, on this AP it's, it's, it's pretty good at range um, and it's, it's even better up close of course but if you have ships like the Wichita or you know ships like this that had that, the, the Baltimore any of these that can bow tank pretty decently if they have any slight turn towards you or they're turn you know at an angle and they're kind of at a funny angle you might find it hard sometimes to penetrate that'd be the best time to switch to the HE um, but uh yeah looking at the torpedoes uh they're, they're pretty much defensive torpedoes you pretty much have them if someone gets close and that's about it um the maneuverability she's a maneuver she's a pretty maneuverable ship all around the only qualm I have about her is her turn circle radius sitting at 890 meters that's pretty bad that's 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 battleship-esque okay <laughs> now the maximum speed 35 point or 33.5 knots is not bad with the rudder shift time of 3.8 seconds gives you you know some decent kiting abilities now let's look at the commander I am currently running, and in this gameplay running, Nikolay Kuznetsov. I have him at rank 15, legendary 2. 
The mods I run on him are Beyond Range, Igniter, Equilibrium of Power, Steer Clear, and Fully Packed. And I have Nikolay Von Essen as first inspiration and Andre Rowe as my second. Now, let's get into the gameplay. We're talking Hood and Bismarck, and well, not really Hood, but the sinking of the Bismarck. Or, the, excuse yeah. me. The yeah, scuttling we're, we're, of the Bismarck, the, 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 the demise of the Bismarck, shall we say. Yes. The destruction followed by the sinking. <laughs> Nineteen not the, not the, Yeah, not the movie, I'm talking science. Nice. Corded. Yup. Action stations. Yeah, the hood fires with the main battery and the Bismarck fires with just the front and all of a sudden you see Bismarck or Hood go bye bye. Origin. Because of the lines, the, the big ship's supposed to be in the front. The usually lines not. on the the lines on the horizon make the Prinzoigen and the Bismarck um, at very severe long range look almost indistinguishable. Yeah. It's because the. Bismarck's, I think, aft radar went out or something for some reason. <laughs> Something like <Nope>. that. <laughs> I owe you one. Oh, just my knowledge of history. You have to remember I had a... There's a reason why I'm an asshole to this day. Especially against people that want to bullies. I want to be bullies. I was bullied as a kid. I joined the United States Army and that corrected any bullying that was ever going to happen. Ever. Bad teammates. You want to be a bully to me? <laughs> Guess what my teammates will do? They'll loan me. You know, we've become, we've become, uh, our own heavy, uh, high caliber bullets. But, um, my love of history came because instead of allowing myself to get beaten up after school by five, five guys, which, you know, when you think about it, it's pretty gay. But, uh, instead of, you know, going off and getting beaten up, I went into the library and literally read Encyclopedia Britannica, from the first page to the very last appendice, and did the same thing with World Book, and did the same with World War II history. I wanted to know what my grandfathers went through, and why they wouldn't talk to me about stuff, and their service in the military. And then once I joined the military and went through basic training, my grandfathers uh, not only told me but uh, talk to me um, what it's like to be a good soldier, sailor, airman, or marine. And... Mm-hmm. 
as a tail gunner, yeah, as a tail gunner, he got to see what, you know, the firebomb and raids literally can do. What human beings can do to other human beings. Yep, after my grandpa taken Okinawa with the second Marines. My, my grandpa and your uncle might have, uh, they, they chew the same dirt, can we say. To put it from an army perspective. And my other grandfather went from uh, Normandy to Berlin. He did his job. It's just, you know, no, uh, 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 like my grandfather's both said, if you're going to be in the military, and if you're going to rip on that supply supply clerk, if you want to have shitty boots, rip on. Them. If you want to have new boots, crash. So that way your feet aren't fucked up. Take care of. Them. And if you like to get paid, take care of that payroll clerk. I don't know about you, but I didn't do that shit for free. And, you know, everybody has their role. Okay, so I, I you know, being a combat engineer wasn't going to become a banker. You know what I mean? Not big into the finance and that kind of thing. But to uh, talk against uh, somebody that worked finance, guess what? That's to not listen to my grandfather and not want to get paid. I just kicked both of those cruisers' asses. Now you see that? Oh, you and me both. Yeah. Oh, you're over here too. But you were, you know, <laughs> dude. He shoots at me first, and it's like, okay, uh, the Chappie's the bigger threat, dumbass. Yep. Yep, it's yes. coming back. Well, 500,000 XP. 500,000 free XP. But it's gonna be in the store, I'm pretty sure, permanent, like the Turkish is. Unlike the other ones are. Yeah, not not a, uh, uh, a listed time of expiration, yeah. even though it will expire. God damn it. Drown, that's not cool for an Norwegian. And we're also getting all them badass, uh, US flight cruisers. Yes. It's gonna be cool. The Atlanta, the Atlanta is better than the Tech Tree one though because it has it's they're, they're the exact same ship. The only difference is the Atlanta has radar, and the other one don't. Uh -huh. It has smoke, God, but it has really I'd good really American. Have, I'd rather smoke. have smoke than the radar on that ship. Well, yeah, but then you kind of defeat the purpose of hunting down destroyers. You take that yeah. away from yourself. Especially when you're ready for it, dude, there's no better ship. The Boise is great, but the Boise doesn't have torps. The Atlanta, you can throw out your torps right about there, and even if 
that who cares your guns are just gonna fucking decimate the torps are there to make him go a different way Boise no it's American Boise. American premium but to compare it compared to the Atlanta um, Boise doesn't have torps Where do you go out the tech tree first and then understand what you're after? If you're gonna buy one. Let's see what I'm see if you like it. Okay. Alright, well. Japanese cruisers, well, with the light cruisers of the Americans that are coming out, you're not gonna like their lack of armor. No, the Japanese are. Most of what you have right now for Japanese are heavy armor cruisers. <laughs> so, I mean, you can do with what you want, but if you don't think about them in their own way, uh, the British cruiser line is a good example. Except, you know, add HE. And if you did okay with the British cruiser line, then okay. You're not gonna have such a bad, bad time. But. Yeah, the. It, yeah, so. Yeah, with the British, it's a more aggressive place. Because if you're gonna harm a battleship, you kinda do the island thing, come out and surprise them. Otherwise, you can't fight a battleship. <laughs> True. I mean, the British ones are really good. I mean, really good. But they, they, they are a very different style of play. You can yeah, make your own be. island with that smoke, and that's super sweet. That's what I'm Any doing right now. <laughs> right? I'm kicking their ass like I am. I got 150k right now. Come on, baby, keep going. I only got a thousand health left. Just need them two battleships to make it in the base. Yeah, so it's gonna be a little different. The range of Atlanta is about 12 kilometers firing range.
Yeah, if you're gonna come up the center and I'm in an Atlanta, um, I've got the flanks covered for our base, and you're gonna come down the center and you're a DD. Dumbass. Don't do it. And you watch the Atlanta just smoke. Had a badass game right there, boy. Oh, is it gonna kick up right there? 166. Nice. Thank you guys again for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed the review. If you don't mind showing support, please leave a like and a follow, and make sure you have that bell notification on so you can see the next video. Also, I stream daily on Twitch, same name, Chronic Clouds. I would appreciate all the love, and until the next time, peace